quick review on fire resistant versus fire rated glazing assembly. So the most important point to take away is that we can't only consider the glass assembly we're using, we also have to factor in what the framing condition looks like. So this is a sample of a two hour rated fire assembly. So first, when we look at the framing material, what we have is separating the two profiles we have the steel channel a one inch composite fire barrier this aluminum clad or aluminum channel covered or concealed by a steel clad profile so the objective with fire rated windows is essentially to slow down the spread of smoke so because this is two hours you're basically trying to prevent this assembly from failing within two hours so that the interior occupants can escape or leave. And so when we look at the glazing assembly itself, this is an incredibly thick uh, glazing configuration. It's two and three eight inches thick, and you actually have four panes of glass. You can see one, two, three, four. And what it's made up of is you have an intumescent interlayer, which basically means it's transparent and when it is exposed to heat, it is basically going to expand, slowing the rate of heat transfer and becoming a barrier to that smoke. So this is that one inch thick intumescent layer. And then we have an insulated laminated configuration on the interior here. So you can imagine this is an incredibly heavy assembly so you're gonna be limited in terms of sizes and application, but it looks quite nice. It's obviously incredibly functional, and I'm curious if you have experience or exposure utilizing this type of product in your facades.